Up today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. We are gearing up for another big night of football here in Connecticut. Our game of the week this week is Cromwell Portland against Valley Regional and Old Lyme. Okay, okay. Coach Bennett over. Wow. And so this was a big day for you because this is your alma mater, Cromwell High School. It's been 10 years. I have my 10th year anniversary coming up next month, which makes me feel old, I guess. But it was so makes cool. Makes you feel old you've been out of high school 10 years? <laughs> well, I don't know. Look, but it was, it, it was so cool to see old dancing. teachers moving, grooving. Um, but an awesome group of kids there. And a big shout-out to the band, the cheerleaders. I mean, everybody. These kids are putting in so much work. So the game is actually tonight in Deep River. Okay. Um, so you guys can tune in for more coverage on that. But we're, we're going to show some Panther pride here. Here in studio. Go Let's Panthers, see. Baby Panthers. Yeah, look at that. We've got that and a throwback photo. Would you believe why that's is that, your boy? Is that, why is that on a t shirt? Well, because who, who doesn't want a Ryan Christopher <laughs> throwback t shirt? I was a handsome fella, right, back in the day? Oh, my. Yes, yes, you were. That is a collector's item. Our producer said, nope, next. See ya. So, I, I, I guess not. All right, well, a company in Japan is giving its employees an incentive to sleep more. I like this. Good way to boost job productivity, right? Can we apply? Uh, maybe. Right. So according to Bloomberg, the company called Crazy Inc. Employee, employees who sleep six hours a night or more for at least five days a week are awarded with points. Then those points can be exchanged for food in the company cafeteria. That's not bad. Yeah. I think we'd be getting cheese sticks at this point in the cafeteria with the amount of sleep that we're getting. <laughs> But that's, that's kind of a cool little added benefit, right? Well, I feel like if you sleep well, you have a good day at work the next day. How about if you sleep on the job? That shouldn't that, be allowed. That's not cutting it. Well, no. I, I feel like sometimes people are so productive. I mean, you know, between people who still smoke or, or, do, or do the e-cig or they're always on their phone. There's a lot of breaks, I suppose. Yeah, but, but you work part-time and you feel like I do, and I feel like that's the way to go. It's like the busiest three hours of my life. Of your like life. The second I step into the moment I leave, I'm busy doing stuff. So maybe just cut everybody its hours. Do you, do you need <laughs> an assistant? you'd be very productive. Do you need an assistant? Should we? You, you are my assistant, oh, right. I thought, I right? Oh, no? yes. <laughs> Miss, here, here's your coffee. Just right here. Okay. Um, exciting <laughs> events coming up this weekend. We're partnering with the Connecticut Home Show to give away a great prize uh, now that the weather's getting a little colder. I know it's going to be a little chilly this weekend. You can enter to win $1,000 worth of home heating oil from Petro great deal. Home Services. Yeah, absolutely. All you have to do is go to WTNH.com slash contest. The home show is this Friday to Sunday at the Connecticut Convention Center where you will be. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully you. I, I hope you come on out for this as well. Saturday, the, uh, the Hartford Current Travel Show is going down. You can meet News 8 personalities. I'm going to be hanging there with Sarah Cody all morning long. We're going to be on the morning show, and the event is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And oh, oh, yeah, by the way, we have free tickets. All you got to do is head on over to our website, WTNH.com, claim yours now, and come on by and say hello. Plan your winter trip. Yeah, why not, right?